Hey guys, Sunburnt Logan here, up to Season 1, Episode 10 of Supernatural. Here we go. If you want to get these videos early, you can do so. Down in the description to the Patreon. You can get these videos months early. I know you know that. Here we go. No! No! An asylum? Places freak me out. If they freak you out, Logan, why'd you put one in your book? I don't know, because I don't like it. You don't know the legend. Legend? They say it's haunted with the ghosts of the patients. Spend the night. The spirits will drive you insane. Great. Police officers! Dude. You tell me these kids brought bolt cups? Something tells me it's. Well, okay, it might be kids, but. There's some else in there. <laughs> Asylums freak me out. Hello? They have people like Ed Gein in them. Does anybody know who Ed Gein is? Or John Wayne Gacy? Was John Wayne Gacy in a mentalist then? Hello? I know Ed Gein was. <gasps> Caution something hazard. I don't know what that second word is. The show's going to give me a heart attack. Come on out. <laughs> oh, you went in the wrong world. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeez. Where the hell you been? In there. What was it? See anything? No. He's possessed. We are clear and ah. Welcome to the neighborhood, man. Oh, that sucks. Hey, so what? You're still not talking to me? Why weren't y'all talking? Dude. Maybe you've seen him in the last few weeks. Just call us if you hear anything. Thanks. Caleb hasn't heard from him? Nope. Neither is Jefferson or Pastor Jim. Pastor Jim? The journal. Any leads in there? Follow the missing persons. Oh, we talked about this. Dad'd be pissed if we put the feds on his tail. I don't care anymore. You should have been there, Dean. You said so yourself. You tried to call him and nothing. I know. What the hell is my son? I mean, technically yeah. he was there. He could be dead for... Why? I don't believe it. You think Dad was texting us? Rockford, Illinois. We're going to an asylum. Walter Kelly comes home from his shift, shoots his wife, and puts a gun in his mouth, blows his brains out. And earlier that night, Kelly and his partner responded to a call at the Roosevelt Asylum. Asylum in the journal. I think this is where he wants us to go. I don't want you to go. Damn asylums, dude. We could go with my partner and sit there next year. Hey, buddy, how about me and Pooh got along, huh? The man's an officer, why don't you show a little respect? What the hell? Is that a plan? Was that planned? You don't have to do that. That looked like it was planned. Yeah, of course I did. That guy's a serious jerk. Let me buy you a beer, huh? Two. So, Walter Kelly was a good cop. Out of his class, even cute. They were even talking about having kids. Alright, so either Kelly had some deep having crazy way to bust out, or something else did it. <laughs> In 1972, three kids broke into the South Wing. Only one survived. The way he tells it, one of his friends went nuts and started lighting up the place. Great. So you go so crazy if you go into the loony bin. So, or to keep something in. Probably keep something in. How much you want to bet it's keeping something in? I mean, there was something in there, obviously. The door opened. To come out at night. Yeah. Hey, Sam, who do you think's a hotter psychic? Trisha Arquette, Jennifer Love Hewitt, or you? <laughs> that was good. This place is fucked up. This is a chew. Electroshock, lobotomies, and it's some twisted stuff for these people. Kinda like my man Jack in Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> so, 
keeps okay. not having any of it. Ghost possessed more like uh, like Amityville or the Smurl Haunting. Uh, spirits driving him insane. Kind of like my man Jack in The Shining. We'll just have to pick up the search later. It doesn't matter what he wants. See that attitude right there? That's why I always got the extra cookie. Dad could be in trouble. We should be looking for him. We just like him so much. Dean. I mean, this is our family we're talking about. Find out more about the South Wing. Let's see if something happened here. Oh, of course something happened here. It's a freaking asylum. Thanks again for seeing me last minute. Uh, he was a he was a chief psychiatrist somewhere. My father was chief of staff at the old Roosevelt Asylum. How did you know? In the hospital, I guess, in the South Wing, right? We're on your dollar, Sam. We're here to talk about you. Uh same old. I uh, just been on a on a road trip with my brother. Was that fun? Loads. <laughs> uh, let's cut the bull, shall we? You're avoiding the subject. I'll tell you all about the Roosevelt riot if you tell me something honest about yourself, like uh, this brother you're road tripping with. How do you feel about him? Damn. The South Wing. It's where they house the real hard cases, the psychotics, the criminally insane. Sounds cozy. Yeah, and one night in 64, they rioted, attacked staff, attacked each other, including our chief of staff, Ellicott. Well, what do you mean never recovered? Cops got it. So they transferred all the surviving patients and shut down the hospital for good. All right, what so someone hell? up will get a bunch of violent deaths and a bunch of unrecovered bodies. Just meet a bunch of angry spirits. Uh, good times. Let's check out the hospital tonight. That's insane. Oh, God. That's a lot of deaths. It's a lot of terrible deaths. I don't want to be in this place. Who the f Who are you? Of course. Of course. I thought we were going to a movie. Ugh, oh, this is a movie, sweetie. It's not what I want to be in. Y'all are gonna have to save their lives. I'll take you to a movie. Gavin, as long as I'm just gonna be I get out of here, she doesn't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Let's go to a movie. Then you and your boyfriend can go do whatever the hell you want after that. He can stay here and explore. <sighs> Shit. Shit. Oh my god. Hey, sweetie. Couldn't take it out. <laughs> Called her sweetie. Oh god. Ew! Ah, uh, no. They don't like this. The multiple spirits out and about. If these uncovered bodies are causing the haunting, we gotta find them and burn them. Just be careful, though. The only thing that makes me more nervous than a pissed off spirit. It's pissed off spirit of a psycho killer. Yep. Where are you gonna find- <gasps> Where are you gonna find all the bodies? Oh god. Shit. Y'all are gonna enjoy this. Don't split up, please. Not a good- not a good idea. Oh no, that's them, isn't it? Oh no, that's her. It's alright, we're not gonna hurt you. My boyfriend, Gavin. Is he here? Gavin. Has anyone seen Gavin? I heard Gavin scream. Oh, yeah? Okay. Then we're gonna find your boyfriend. No! What? No! I'm not gonna leave without Gavin. I'm coming with you. Has anyone seen Gavin? Okay, it's dangerous. That's why I've got Gavin. Gavin! <laughs> Gavin! Does Gavin? anybody know where that's from? Gavin! Gavin! I got a question for you. You've seen a lot of horror movies, yeah? Y'all splitting up is not a good idea. Gavin? 
Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm here to help. Who are you? My name is Sam. Uh, we found your girlfriend. There was this girl. Her, her, her face. It was all, all messed up. Okay, okay, listen. Listen, this girl. Did she try to hurt you? What? Uh, no. She, she kissed me. Uh, um, but, but she didn't hurt you physically. Actually, she tried to whisper something in my ear. Probably, you're cute. I mean, if she's gonna kiss you, what, what else would she say? You're hurting my arm. What are you talking about? It's happening. What did it say? What? Sorry. It whispered in my ear. 137. Room number. So, now you guys ready to leave this place? I'm gonna go find room 137. Oh my god. So, how do you guys know about all this ghost stuff? Eh, family business. It's kind of our job. Let's break it down. I don't think that's gonna work. Then a window. They're barred. Well, how are we supposed to get out? You don't. It's an asylum. That's the point. Or not. Fuck. This is why I get paid the big bucks. You don't get paid anything. Well, all work and no play makes Dr. Ellicott a very dull boy. He's gotta be in there. All right, daughters, we're not gonna panic. Why the hell not? Dude, you're the only one panicking. I'm in the basement. Hurry up. I'm on my way. It's in the basement. My dad took me seat shooting a couple times. Right here. It's not the basement. Is he? It's gonna be the worst thing you do is go into the boiler room or the basement. God dang asylum. Bruh. Oh my god, is this the same? Is this what got the freaking guy? The officer. Fuck. Fuck. Dude. Fuck. Sure. Fuck this episode. Fuck. It's behind you. It's behind you. <gasps> Don't be afraid. I'm going to make you all better. Is that the doctor? If we make it out of here alive, we are so breaking up. Damn it, damn it. Don't shoot, it's me! Sorry! Sorry! God! Where's Sam? He went to the basement, you called him. I didn't call him. I thought he so! Said he said it was you. Watch yourselves. And watch out for me. Sam, you down here? Is he like, Sam? has he lost his mind now or something? <laughs> How do you know it's him? Because I found his logbook. Apparently he was experimenting on his patients. But instead it only made him worse and worse and angrier and angrier. So I'm thinking what if his spirit Damn. is doing the same thing to the cop. The police never found his body. Well, the logbook said he had some sort of hidden procedure room down here somewhere where he'd work on his patients, so. Oh God. Isn't it right there? Oh. I told you I looked everywhere. I didn't find a hidden room. You did find it in the room, you little it. shit. Yep, there we go. Damn. Slip out the door. Just shut your mouth. What are you gonna do, Sam? Guns filled with rock salt. I'm gonna kill me. Oh my god! Sam! It's probably like taking you a bullet with a bulletproof vest. No, this will be over. Oh, uh, you gonna kill me? You know what? I am sick of doing what you tell me to do. We're no closer to finding that today than we were six months ago. It's been six what months. Here? Take it. You gave him real bullets. 
Hit him with his own medicine. Nice. Now, that would really suck if you ran into him as well. Fuck! Fuck! Shit! Fuck! Damn, they stuffed him in there. Light it up. Please light it up. Quick, 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 light it up. Throw it! Oh, oh my god. What, what? How the hell did he get there? Dad's gonna try and kill me, are you? I thought he was on the other side of the room. No more haunted asylums, okay? It's like I couldn't control it, but I didn't mean it. Any of it. You didn't, huh? No. Dean. Hello. Dad? Oh! Damn. You're gonna end it there. That was a good episode. It's a good episode. It scared the shit out of me sometimes. Um, but that's, that's fine. Is Dad finally going to join us. Jeffrey, are you gonna join us? We'll see. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, check out the link description, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, if you want to get these videos months before YouTube gets them. The most you can get is two months. I'm not sick, but like I just, I don't, I don't have corona. I just can't breathe. I sneeze like two times and I just can't. Whatever, it's fine. It's not like it's annoying or anything. You know, just, just work, you know, do your job. I'll see y'all next time.